So here's a couple of Blender add-ons that you probably missed. These add-ons will definitely help you create faster and for those who are thinking about getting the most recent and of course if you like to get some discounts then the add-ons that we're going to cover today will definitely touch light on all of those. And for those who like to find out even more, lots of these are going to be in the description so go ahead and check it out. And with that said, let's dive right into it. Mountainscape from the folks at B Production is a beautiful add-on that simply allows you to create amazing landscapes super easily. This comes with a 152 ready to use 3D asset which is composed of 44 HD models and 108 classic models. These are divided into different categories which offers a wide range of opportunities for you to create that landscape that you're going for. All thanks to the asset browser, this is now super easy to work with as all you need to do is drag and drop into your viewport and start creating with high level details as this also offers 8k texture to individual assets that you're working with. So whether you're going for low poly, micro displacement or that high quality realistic asset for creating the amazing landscape, then you might want to consider taking a look at this. More so, the folks at B Production also have a couple of interesting assets and currently they're doing a lot of discounts. First off, with Cloudscape version 2 which now offers over 390 clouds, you can now take advantage of this as they're doing a 5% drop from the original price. It is also worth mentioning that if you're thinking about getting the real wood texture, which a high quality set of wood textures you can now get that for 30 percent off their transportation tool which is an amazing kind of very cool library and add-on it's currently doing a 25 percent off so just in case you like to get these you can now save up on all of that and if you've ever wanted to create that slimy or organic bridging effect on your 3D model, then you might want to take a look at Sculpt Bridge 2. Made available by the folks at Node Interactive, this free add-on allows you to create that organic bridging and punching effect on your Blender Sculpt. And the good thing is this is fully procedural, which offers an added opportunity to make those procedural changes directly on your viewport while trying to create organic slimes. This also offers a gravity, squeeze, and also a level of detail subdivision set of tools which would help make your life easy. The folks at Node Interactive are also the very same creator of the Rap Master, the Lace Generator, the Belt Maker, and also the Lazy Rename. So if any of these tools interest you, then you might want to go ahead and take a look at them and grab them right now. Sometimes you just want to navigate Blender in the best way possible, and that is where Better Pie menu comes in. This is definitely going to revolutionize how you work in 3D, especially when you're working in Blender with direct selection mode context selection mode, menus for brushes, smart menus for objects, mesh editing, primitive settings, UVs and a whole lot more. So instead of simply clicking buttons to get things going, you can rely on the Pi menu to get the most out of Blender. This just simply offers a lot of quality of life tools based off different modes. So whether you're into modeling, sculpting, UVs or lighting, then you might want to go ahead and take a look at the better Pi menus and enhance your workflow. And we all know if you have a ton of meshes and you want to convert all of them to assets in Blender, this is more of a repetitive task, as this eliminates the tedious and repetitive task of creating individual assets one after the other. This offers a one-click action to create as many assets as you want and they are all stored within your asset library. It also offers some studio presets for lighting so you can create the best looking asset just in case you like to export, collaborate or share with other persons. There is also some camera angle presets to get the exact look you're going for, some handy tools which include set origin to the bottom and also renaming tool and Cassie ship like always is doing a limited time offer of 25% off so for those who like to take advantage of this discount then the link and the coupon code will be in the description Cassie ship is also the very same creator of the geo sign the real water the lazy VFX the real cloud the flutter paint and if you like to save up on all of that then you might want to go ahead and take a look at the Cassie ship 2023 bundle and save up on all of these five add-ons that we've just mentioned and if you're a fan of volumetrics, then you might want to consider taking a look at Alltab Easy Folk version 2. Alltab Easy Folk version 2 is here to upscale your scene with some interesting volumetrics, as this add-on makes creating cloud, smokes, and all sorts of foggy effects within your scene super easy. As it comes with a beautiful UI, and for those who like working with preset, this also offers a couple of interesting things. This has been improved greatly from what Alltab version 1 looks like, as it now offers more presets to work with. In terms of features, you get to find over 50 plus procedural volumes and 100 plus static volumes to work with and unlike some other tools which just simply offers you the vdb volumes this also comes with some pre-animated presets that you can also manually animate you also have some controls for density color noise texture and texture mapping so if you're thinking about creating that realistic explosion cloud smoke volumes or probably you want to throw in some fog and get the best out of your scene then you might want to go ahead and take a look at all tab easy fog version 2 
The Easy Patch is a smart automatic patch retopology tool that just simply approximates and creates a standard topology to patch up your 3D model. It's quite interesting to note, you can freely draw on the boundaries of the patches and create consistent results. This is quite impressive to see with a beautiful example that they've put out here, as the purpose of this add-on is to save you so much time when creating your retopology or you're trying to cover up a simple patch. The topology just simply makes it super easy and I believe this add-on can definitely speed up your workflow if you're into modeling. One thing to keep in mind is this is not a fully automatic retopology add-on but it just simply helps you create standard topology patches out of selected boundaries so if you're into modeling they may want to consider having this and here's one beautiful course that has a lot of things to offer, especially if you're into sculpting and you like to practice head anatomy. Nico from Speedcar has put together this beautiful sculpting exercise and course. This course cuts across different tools as you're learning the basic fundamentals of creating a 3D model head. Rather than relying on the software, Nico goes through some of the fundamental basics that you need to know and comes in hot with landmarks and some anatomy ideas that you need to have to make that amazing face model. And of course, if you're into sculpting and you're wondering how to improve your face anatomy knowledge, this course is for you. But if you're thinking about something more stylized, then the absolute beginner 3D character in Blender is available and of course you will also find the 3D female armored assassin in Blender course also worth the try. The folks at Polygonic have announced Endgon, which is their beautiful asset browser tool. This tool allows you to spawn, create and also organize your tools in the best way possible. They've also made Endgon open source so you can go over to GitHub and pick it up if you want. We've already covered a video about this but for those who are thinking about exploring this, then you might want to go ahead and check it out. One thing to keep in mind is most of the assets that you'll be working with with this asset browser, which is amazing by the way, are mostly Polygonic assets. So whether you're trying to get the botanic, the materialic, the traffic or the aquatic, all of these do have an amazing handshake with Engon. At the same time, more developers are working hand in hand with the folks at Polygonic to make Engon more of a standard tool for Blender artists rather than a simple plugin. So, for those who are thinking about taking a look at this, then Engon is currently available for free and I would suggest you grab it. And while we talk about the folks at Polygonic, it is worth mentioning that Botanic 7 is currently available. Botanic 7 now comes with 111 assets and 4 scatter presets. There are tiny little updates that cuts across Botanic 7 and the same thing can be said for Traffic, which is their car library asset, as it now offers a road generator that simply gives the opportunity to create different kinds of road. The road tool is currently in beta but I can tell you for sure it is one of the best road asset tools that I have currently tested and for those who like to try it out there is a traffic starter which is currently available and of course if you're looking for more stuff from the folks at Polygonic Aquatic 2.0 is currently available with some interesting updates and the same thing can be said and the same can be said for Materialic 5.1. And if you've ever wanted to create stop motions, then the step motion is one tool that I would suggest that you definitely take a look at, as this simply allows you to create stop motions in one of the coolest ways possible. Step motion is a handy tool for easily creating frame by frame animations within Blender, allowing a workflow similar to what you have with real life stop motion. You can preview your animations in real time while editing on the fly, and this also offers you options of seeing the previous and future frames while relying on onion skin to create complex scenes and combining your animations together. It is also worth mentioning that there's an animated clay shader which simply changes every single time you move a frame as it brings that true to life effect that you get when you're playing with clay in real life. There's an additional set of tools that you can get with this and for those who are into stop motion or probably you're thinking about getting into it then step motion might just be the way forward. So if you're into fracturing, then RBD Lab is currently available so you can go ahead and check it out as it now comes with the Metal Soft which allows you to create some soft body animation when creating your fracture. It is worth mentioning that RBD Lab has also released the VDB Lab which is now doing a 25% offer for those who are thinking about creating explosions and getting the best out of it. This ships with a couple of interesting emitters and tools that can allow you to create that beautiful explosion however you choose. AutoRig Pro has also recently updated the fact that AutoRig Pro is now compatible with Blender 4.0 and above. This was something that wasn't available when Blender 4.0 was announced but it's quite interesting to see that if you like to rig your characters faster and you like to take advantage of the cool way that you can rig any character in Blender then AutoRig Pro is now compatible with Blender 4.0 and I would suggest you go ahead and check it. Segi has updated Zen UV which is a beautiful UV tool for easily creating UVs in Blender from Zen UV 
version 3 to Zen UV version 4. This simply saves you so much time when creating UVs in Blender. With a couple of interesting features that deals with transform, copy and pasting of operations, word orientation, or API constraints, matching and stitching, seam grouping, textile density, and a lot more. And for those who like to see more, Segi has also created a different set of UV tools. And if you like to get all of the cool UV tools in one, then the Zen bundle is one I would suggest you look at. And if you're into stylization, then the stylized shader version 3 is one that is super impressive. Now we've mentioned how this cool tool can help improve your workflow over time, but it's quite interesting to see that with the new version, you do have a huge set of tools that you can work with. The stylized shader just simply unlocks how much things you can make, and I would suggest that for those who are thinking about creating stylized scenes, and maybe you're into tune shading, and you like to get that visually appealing painterly stylized shading, then you can go ahead and check this one out. Kamikaze version 2.1 is currently available. This collection now offers over 200 plus shaders, modifiers, compositing effects, and assets for creating comic and tune styled arts. So if you're into manga art, anime, the Spider-Verse style, or anything that literally has to do with creating elemental forms in 2D, pen, pencil, half tones, sci-fi, texture, and tech designs, then Kamikaze has you covered. Another tool that has you covered is the procedural roof generator. So this tool is pretty impressive. If you've always wanted to create roof, this now gives you the option of creating any kind of roof you want by simply using geometry nodes. And how this works is simple. The roof generator uses rudimentary input meshes and converts them into complex roofing, consisting of a fully modeled and textured rigid and tiled parts. This also ships with solar panels, snow guards, and dormers. So at any point you're thinking about roofing your 3D models, you can take advantage of the seven different roof preset that comes with this and and start doing those amazing stuff. So this is it. For those who would like to take a look at some of these other beautiful add-ons, then I'm going to link these ones in the description so you can go ahead and check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.